mental health. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And speaking of mental health, mm -hmm. um, I'd like to see what I see when I hear the word hotline. Mm -hmm. To me, it's like um, an emergency, but in the form of a phone call. Mm -hmm. That's what I think. Mm -hmm. Because what happens is um, you're going to, um, um, maybe for people who are suffering with mental health, mm -hmm. you're going to a state of panic mm -hmm. or, or you start feeling like, oh my gosh, you know, I can't believe my partner did this to me. I'm ready to, you know, take their life or whatever. And um, as those thoughts are going through their head, maybe they remember that, oh, there's that hotline I can call. Mm -hmm. And they call and somebody talks to them and calms them down mm -hmm. and things get reversed. Would you say that hotline numbers are a form of emergency? Do you, would you put them in the same line or? Yeah. I think I would. Yes. Yeah, there was a time Safaricom wanted to start um, or did start something to do with call a doctor or something like that. Yeah? Right. And um, it helps. It helps to have it does. someone you can call. Yeah. It helps to have a lifeline. And I think it's something that maybe as a country, the health ministry could think about. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Having a hotline where people can call mm -hmm. and get immediate help or just talk to someone. Yeah. We have international numbers I think but we yeah. don't really have any local number that general you can say numbers. this is a number I can call mm -hmm. when I need counseling when I need help mentally mm -hmm. yeah we have numbers for physical things when you get in an accident you know you call yeah. 999 you'll get mm -hmm. you'll get free help yeah mm -hmm. you call St. John ambulance you will most likely get free help the same thing Red Cross you'll most likely get free, free help, help yeah but when it comes to mental health where do we have do we really have a number we can call we don't mm -hmm. yeah so that is one way that we can do this mm -hmm. yeah and I think also besides that it's good for friends to be alert eh? friends always know I think they always some friends will always tell you nilikuwa na jua Iyo, I knew it would happen you know so I saw it coming. yes I saw it coming so we really need to be there with our friends. So yeah. my, not just I saw it coming, but <laughs> yeah. I saw it coming and I did something and about you it. You know, yeah, let's do yeah. something about mm. it. Yeah, exactly. Right. Okay. Mm -hmm. And when it comes to your line of work, mm -hmm. because when I'm, I'm thinking about what you do from mm -hmm. a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. you have to deal with people who've hurt themselves, mm -hmm. like you said, you have to deal with um, all lots of things and under pressure, mm -hmm. because when I was young, I used to watch ER. Mm -hmm. <laughs> emergency room mm -hmm. I used to watch it and I used to just be in awe mm -hmm. because everything was so quick so fast you know but I know the movies exaggerate mm -hmm. things but what you're doing is quite important work and I'd like to ask um, if you felt like it's something that's coming from your heart did you feel like it's a calling mm -hmm. or did you see it more of um, other people who just take it as a career because to me to work in such a space such under such pressure mm -hmm. is something that you need to do from the heart because you can either get irritated or you can throw the tile in and just say ah Mm -hmm. yeah. I know. Yeah, I think um, I can say that I have been wanting to be a doctor since I was in primary school, yeah. about 12 years of age. I diverted a bit and went to <laughs> being an astronaut, but you know, I came back. It's my mm -hmm. passion. Mm -hmm. I've loved the sciences generally. Yeah. yeah. So um, when you're in the emergency room or when you're in the ward, generally when you're caring for a patient, there's a reward. Yeah, there's just an internal reward that you get. Internal. And in the ER, there's the adrenaline rush. You know, people say it gets you drunk sometimes. It's a high. Wow. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's there, it happens, then it comes down. And I think that's why I have a passion for emergency medicine. But generally, medicine is a rewarding career. It's something that you'd want to do. It makes you happy. So for those who are... It's, it's rewarding on the side of, I mean, you're happy with what you do. At the end of the day, you go home, you can smile and say, you made a difference in someone's life. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes the frustrations, being a doctor in I'm this sure. country and even in the world can be very frustrating. Yeah. But when you think about the difference you've made to lives, yeah, sometimes it makes it worth it. And I, I mean, like um, things we do in the A&E, yeah. Mm. We triage, you know, you sort out patients, so you're choosing, literally choosing the patients who are most at risk, yeah? So you deal with them first, yeah? Then you deal, you calm down like that. So sometimes people get frustrated and they're like, are you ignoring me, yeah? Is um. this, and you know, people need to understand that it's, it's, it's like in, I can't even, Kikuyu is even, we have less casualties, yeah? We have less patients coming in. But a place like KNH, you know, sometimes you go there and you stay there for 24 hours and you wonder why? Are you guys when like this? Yeah? Uh, uh. But you have to, we have to sort out patients. Sometimes a patient comes in, gets right in, and 
relatives feel frustrated, yeah. But that's the nature of the END. You have to triage, you have to choose the patients who are, they're called red patients. They are most at risk of dying and they need your help most, yeah. So that once you've sorted them out, then you come down to yellow, it's just like the lights, eh? then green, yeah, those who are least at risk. So sometimes the ANB, the ANB can be frustrating for patients, can be frustrating for relatives, but it is how it is. It is yeah, how I it think is. I can say it is how it is, yeah. It is how it mm. is. Mm. And um, mm. maybe, okay, mm. just. All right, all right. Uh, mm -hmm. we don't have much time. Mm -hmm. I wanted to ask a final question before we wind up. Mm -hmm. So we've discussed um, what, what it entails to be in the emergency room, mm -hmm. what is putting our youth there, but now, we didn't, we talked about the fact that Kenya is a red zone. Mm -hmm. Maybe we can close in um, figuring out what can we do to remove Kenya from the red zone? How mm -hmm. can we reduce, especially um, emergencies for our youths mm -hmm. ending up in the emergency room? How can we bring that number down mm -hmm. so that our country is not a red zone in the whole country? Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, in the whole country, um, mm -hmm. in the whole world. Mm -hmm. How can we do that okay. in closing? Uh, thank you, Joy. Um, for that is, I think that's the most important thing we want to say today. And yes. I want to start with laws. Yeah. yeah, about a month, two months ago, we were doing seat belts, yeah, mm -hmm. for matatus. And if you look at those belts now, they are, <laughs> they are horrible. Yeah, I mean, there are no belts anymore, as in it just went away, yeah. Mm -hmm. So we need to think about laws. Laws are deterrents, yeah. When you have laws in place, they deter people. And being serious about those laws, yeah, they are there. Are we enforcing them? Are we able to ensure people are doing that or are we finding ways for people to escape the laws? Yeah, maybe pay and get out of it, you know. Yeah, then we ourselves just need to be safety conscious, yeah. Mm. Ask that Boda Boda guy for the helmet. Yeah, yes. if these guys don't want to get helmets, then take an Uber Boda, take a safe Boda, Taxify Boda. Mm -hmm. Yeah, now the apps all have Boda Boda. Yeah? And those guys now have to have, have helmets. helmets, they have to have reflectors. It's safety, yeah. Same thing. Think about seat belts, think about speed, you know, think about crossing roads, thicker road. There are flyovers, but people want to cross. Run around. Yes, and yeah. it's a problem. There are so many problems that happen around, so many accidents that happen around. People not using flyovers and crossing mm -hmm. the road, yeah? Mm -hmm. So that is one, mm -hmm. prevention. Mm -hmm. But also when accidents happen, as Kenyans, yeah? Again, of which youth are the majority responders. How do we respond? How do we assist those who are injured? Are we making them worse? Are we making them better? Who are we assisting first? Yeah. So we need to be conscious of medical emergencies. How do we help? Do we have first aid training? Do we know something small at least? You know, if you go to YouTube, you know we are tech savvy. Yes. There are videos, Saint John ambulance videos on how to deal with basic medical and trauma yeah. emergencies. Yeah. So we need to be aware so that when these things happen to our people, yeah, when it happens to a friend, when it happens to someone around you, then you're able to respond quickly and mm -hmm. save their lives. That's a very important part of saving lives. That's an important part yes. of saving lives. And mm -hmm. changing things yes. so that Kenya can come out of the red zone mm -hmm. and that things can reduce in our emergency rooms. Mm -hmm. And so that our youth can, you know, the trips for our youth towards mm -hmm. emergency rooms can go down. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much, mm -hmm. Dr. Muli, for coming through. Yes. It has been a wonderful talk. Mm -hmm. Remember, guys, that this has been held on Monday. And remember, you can talk to us some more on YouTube. Uh, sorry, on Why in the Morning. Sorry, ha uh, hashtag Why in the Morning and hashtag Health on Monday. Dr. Muli, do you have any social media handles you'd like to share? Um, St. John Ambulance Kenya. <laughs> St. John Ambulance yeah. Kenya. I am just Marion Muli. I don't have a brand yet. So, uh -huh, yeah, okay. Twitter at Marion Muli, okay. Facebook Marion Muli. Right. You're welcome to see Follow my views, stuff. which are very strong. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Thank you so much for coming through, you okay. guys. And you guys, if you want to watch this so that you can get some more tips, remember you can do that on YouTube. You can also find us on Facebook on Y254 channel. You can find us on Instagram, Y254 underscore channel. You can find us on Twitter on Y254 channel. I myself am on Twitter, joy underscore mochache. Thank you so much for staying tuned. Do stay right there. Don't go anywhere. <laughs>